Hey, this is Gordon for Inspiration Touch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a low poly model like this and, ba and bake normal maps in Substance Painter to make it look like something high poly like this one here on the left. So let's do this in Substance Painter and 3ds Max. The first thing we need to do is actually in 3ds Max before we go to Substance Painter. So uh, as you can see here, I'm going to open the, uh, the Layer Explorer in 3ds Max. And as you can see here, I have the high poly version of this uh, sci-fi gun and the low poly version of the same gun. So uh, this is going to be the low poly, which is pretty flat, nothing special about it. And this one here, which is uh, highly detailed and has a lot of stuff in it. And the difference, I would say the main difference between the low poly and the high poly is actually uh, these floating geometry. And as you can see here, I'm adding uh, supporting edges and all that stuff. Uh, and actually, um, the turbo smooth you cannot see because it's already actually converted to the poly, and uh, it's actually blended with the high poly. So the the high poly version actually is actually added with a turbo smooth modifier, which is gonna make it extra smooth. And on top of that, we have these floating geometry. Uh, which are actually now basically uh, attached together. So the high poly version of this piece here, uh, which I call plasma generator because you need to give all these pieces names. So uh, this P generator here has some floating, floating geometry on top of it. As you can see here, these are things that we created in the previous video. And they, uh, they, uh, they are here on the side also. And a lot of uh, pieces and uh, stuff are added here and most of them are floating geometry so basically floating geometry so basically adding these to the high poly is gonna make things all messy and it's pretty difficult to manage all the uh, all the incredible amount of details in include that we are going to include in the same piece of mesh so what you're going to what you're going to do is create is creating these uh floating geometry on top Basically, uh, this is the high poly, as you can see here, this is the high poly, and this one here is going to be the low poly. And as you can see, uh, this, for example, this piece here, I'm going to call sci-fi gun front sight uh, underscore LP. And there must be a same piece that is going to be exactly on top of it, which, we're, which we will call uh, the same name, uh, sci-fi gun front sight HP. So the difference is uh, underscore HP and when it comes to the low poly it's going to be underscore LP. So we're going to do the same thing for all these pieces and they're going to be on top of each other. So this is going to be a very important thing. Now what we need to do is actually we need to uh, select all the uh, after all we need to actually unhide the what we want to select. So the high poly, we're going to select everything. Then we're going to go to uh, 3ds, 3ds Max icon and we're going to go to export and we're going to export selected. So we're going to export this mesh as an, um, an, in any type of file you want, whether it be OBJ or, um, or FBX or anything else that is going to work for you. I prefer OBJ or FBX because they're going to work the best. And you're going to name them whether it be um, you're gonna give them some names. It doesn't matter. The what matters is the naming convention that we are using here. Make sure that you're gonna you're gonna add this underscore HP or uh, high or low. The it depends actually on what you are used to using. So let's go to Substance Painter and start baking these uh, details to the low poly version. So here we are in Substance Painter, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to File and we're gonna create a new file like this and the next thing you're gonna do is actually uh, the most important thing here you're gonna keep everything as it is uh, PBR metal rough HQ shelf you're gonna keep it as it is and uh, uh, probably you're gonna increase the document uh, resolution to 4k if this is gonna be the case for you for me it's gonna stay as it is and the normal map format is gonna be DirectX what you're gonna do right now is actually you want to load the low poly version of the gun that you that you exported from 3ds max 
So after you load the uh, sci-fi gun, the low poly version, you're going to say OK to that. And um, you're going to wait a second for, for it to load the model. And as you can see here, this gun here is completely flat, no details, no whatsoever. So uh, you are going to make sure that the normal mixing here is going to be combined. Uh, you're going to do this after or before baking, but for now we're going to start baking. And we're going to go to additional maps, bake textures. You're going to hit bake textures like this. And uh, what you're going to do is actually you're going to, the first thing you're going to do is actually you're going to go to uh, the high poly parameters. And from here you're going to load the, low, the high poly version of the gun. So after you load the high poly version of the gun, you're going to go to uh, match and you're going to match uh, by mesh. So this is very important by, by mesh name. By mesh name means that uh, that Substance Painter is going to bake every piece uh, individually and this is going to help a lot and uh, it's going to avoid a lot of troubles of baking. And super sampling is also uh, a very good uh, trick you're going to apply here to make sure that uh, there, there is uh, a good baking, especially in the edges. So we're going to go with two, with two by two as a start. And here uh, we are going to use the naming um, convention that we actually chose in 3ds Max, which was for the high poly was HP and for the low poly was LP. So, so these are the steps that are going to be extremely important. And uh, for the maps that we're going to bake first, uh, we're going to, we're not interested in the other maps right now. We are just going to actually bake the uh, the normal map and the AO ambient occlusion. And the rest of them are going to work just fine, except that um, you're going to change some of the uh, parameters here from always to only by mesh name for the empty occlusion and you're going to do the same thing for uh for some of these uh here but uh, the most important thing other than um other than baking by mesh name you're going to go to here to id and shift the color generator from hue shift to random this is extremely important don't forget to check that out and for now we're going to start baking the normal map and the um, occlusion and the most important thing is going to be of course the uh, the normal map so we're going to start baking and we're going to wait for a few minutes probably so here we are after the bake is done and as you can see here uh, the uh, the bake looks pretty nice and the details of the high poly are almost perfectly preserved even even if even when we use two by two super sampling the result looks um, good enough and the details as you can see here are actually looking nice and uh, actually there aren't there isn't um, <clears throat> bleeding in the edge at least not that much it looks clean enough for me uh, for now at this uh, um, at this state that we can see here and uh, this is actually the purpose of this video, but uh, I'm gonna actually uh, bake the uh, the other the other map. So we're gonna go to bake, and uh, I'm gonna actually deselect these two. I'm gonna go with uh, selecting the rest of them because they are extremely important in order to work with masks and uh, generators and uh, a lot of other stuff that you are gonna need. So uh, first of all, this workspace normal is empty for whatever reason. And I'm going to go to ID and we're going to change this color generator to uh, to random. And um, we're going to go to curvature and probably there isn't anything here. We're going to change position. Uh, probably is going to be the same thickness. Uh, probably we're going to change this to only same mesh name. And for now, we're going to bake these and we're going to wait for the result in a few minutes. So here we are after the uh, the next maps are baked. And you may, you, you may ask the question, what is 
the advantage we're gonna get after baking the rest of these maps and this is a fair question actually because if you are not experienced with these uh, tools and these maps and stuff you're gonna uh, wonder why so I'm gonna give you an, a simple example here I'm gonna expand this window here of uh, of these smart materials and we're gonna select probably I'm gonna go with this steel gun paint and um, I'm gonna apply it quickly and as you can see here automatically after we apply these maps you can see here that this uh, gun paint material is being applied uh, uh, perfectly and you, you can see that the edge wear and the effects taking place uh, easily and perfectly this is because we uh, we uh, correctly prepare the maps that are gonna make this possible so let's actually try to remove some of these maps and see how the model is going to be affected. I'm going to target one of the most important was going to be curvature. If we, remo we remove curvature, you're going to see a tremendous difference. Basically, it's going to look like it is flat and the effects we created are not going to be seen at all except the, uh, uh, the, um, the overall flat material that is actually applied to the uh, the steel gun paint smart material and all the details here are the scratches and some of the uh, um, generators and some of the masks will not be working properly if we eliminate for example this curvature map here and the rest of them have a lot more uh, to do with a lot of other stuff that we cannot talk about right now. So please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, it's person touch, and maybe share this video so people can learn from this video because I think it's very extremely important. And if you know how to do this, you're gonna be uh, a lot ahead of your game. So um, uh, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one.